What if the challenges you're facing right now are not just obstacles, but also opportunities for growth and self-discovery? This healing journey with Personal Power Reframe is designed for you. I'm Christelle Arcucci, and I'm on a mission to change your experience of pleasure, power, and money. Learn more about my work at EmbodySoulPurpose.com. You're listening to the Desire Sessions podcast, the lightning path to discover your desires and clear what's blocking you from receiving. Asking for what you want and receiving unapologetically is a revolutionary act. It's time to be the one you're looking for. This healing and hypnotic audio journey is designed to support you to restore your nervous system and enjoy personal power. It's ideal you're listening in a place you can relax and receive. Let's begin by settling in to the place that you are physically, mentally, emotionally. Feel yourself pulling back all of your power into this present moment in time. As if there is a giant magnet in the core running from the crown of your head to the base of your tailbone, and you can easily pull your power back in simply by breathing in and receiving your power back. And as you exhale, softening the edges of your mind and body and deepening the connection between your mind, body, heart, and soul. Feel your breath moving with ease, Feel yourself becoming more and more present with each breath, releasing resistance, following my voice, feeling where your body is being supported, and coming into this moment in time, coming into your now experience, which is forever moving a point in time, a point in your mind, a point in your body. The point of this journey is to support you in seeing, feeling, sensing, and knowing that the pain you have experienced is a portal. The challenges you have faced have deepened your courage and clarity. The obstacles you have encountered are openings to new experiences. Feeling yourself relaxing, softening, especially the back of your body is heavy, opening, softening and allowing your breath to move through your body. As you inhale, you're opening the whole front of your body as your breath moves in. As you exhale, your awareness and attention moves to the back of your body and beyond. Your inhale moves from the back of your body through your body to the front, and your exhale moves the energy from the front of your body out in front of you. This simple practice of moving energy into and through your body, supporting you in becoming more clear, more present, and more sensitive and resilient to your present experience, your mind becoming more settled and calm in your experience and knowing that this journey is an adventure. It is unknown what you will experience. You are the guide. You decide what is possible, available, and enjoyable for you in this journey. We are seeking to unlock your potential through the adversity that you have experienced. Challenges arise on the earth plane for each one of us. It is why we decided to come here, here and now your soul, your infinite divine self is anchored into your human 
body, limited, resilient, but also fragile. The human experience is an experiment in how the infinite moves and navigates the limited, seemingly solid world and going deeper and deeper still, allowing your mind to be like a pinball bouncing off the sides, hitting the bumpers, and being entertained by the experience of a new journey, a new place, a concept to explore, a reframe to install if it suits you. And spiraling down, 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 deeper still. Your breath can move without any effort. You can actively engage the breath if you wish, letting yourself settle deeper and deeper. And you find yourself resting on a giant red stone, your bare feet and hands touching the texture of the stone. The stone is warm from the sun, feels good on your skin, your hips resting on the stone, and you feel so relaxed and centered resting here that you decide to recline all the way back, keeping your knees bent, your feet flat on the red rock, your spine touching the stone your palms down, your breath moving, feeling so grounded and present in the silence of the desert. There is no noise except your breath. The place is so calm, yet you feel the pulsing power of the red rocks, of the stones, of the sun, of your soul being connected to earth, belonging right here, so stable, centered, and present. And in your mind, scenes begin flashing across a giant screen in your mind. They are scenes from your life, Challenges and obstacles you have faced from your childhood all the way up until the present moment. You see the scene, yet there is no emotional charge. You are able to witness the scene and to retrieve the wisdom from the wounded parts of you. The parts of you that felt so challenged by these events in your life, the struggle, the pain, the emotional turmoil felt so heavy back then. Yet now from this place, resting on the giant red stone, watching the scenes flashing through your mind on the giant screen, you are the observer, yet you also realize that you are the star, the director, the writer, and the producer of these scenes that are passing through, retrieving wisdom, integrating the lessons from adversity, collecting core healing from the challenges you have faced. It seems so easy for you now, from this place looking back, You can see the moments where this key, this golden key of inquiry guided your path. What if this is happening for me? How is this happening for me? How will this unfold for me? You can also see those moments so clearly when you completely collapsed 
begging to know the reason why this is happening to you, pleading with someone or something to save you from the depth of despair. Why is this happening to me? You could feel the longing in your soul for someone or something to come along and turn the tide. It's so clear now how that question is a way of giving your power away to an outside force. While there is times to receive support, to actively ask for support, yet it's so clear to you the way in which the disempowered pleading for someone to save you never ended well. Yet in the moments of recognizing your power and inquiring how this is happening for me, what is possible from here created a different type of energy, a totally different experience. Hmm, there's nothing wrong with what has happened in the past. Yet the wisdom of self-reflection, of self-responsibility, of seeing the ways that the challenges drove you down, so deep down into despair, you couldn't do anything but collapse. It's okay. Whatever happened is part of the journey, part of your adventure in being human. And you are finding your way. You are finding the way to turn the wounding into great wisdom. You may have always resonated with the wounded healer archetype. And yes, so many times the wounding seemed so great, so enormous, so crushing that it truly felt like it would break your soul. Yet in this moment, from this perspective, you can see how these moments of deep despair have supported you to be where you are now learning to embody the empowered healer archetype, knowing that struggle, challenges, hardship, and heartache are inevitable. Yet the difference in all the scenes you have seen where you fell into the pit of despair, there was a moment of feeling powerless, while the other moments, even in those moments where there was a great depth of feeling broken, there was still that soul fire burning within you, understanding and knowing that the wisdom often comes from the deepest, most challenging wounds. Oh, letting yourself go deeper and deeper still. What if this is happening for you? At first, this healing practice is easiest in hindsight to see how things that are challenging and hard happened for a greater purpose. Yet in the moment, the moments of challenge Sometimes the best you can do is to neutralize the intensity on planet Earth in the last few years has activated core wounds in so many of us. This is by design, the amplification, the intensity drives you deeper into your journey of embodied soul awakening or farther and farther from the truth of who you are. Being here, we know the path you have chosen and the keys to take with you are remembering that you have chosen this journey 
you are selecting the companions that you travel with and your great wisdom, the embodied path of wisdom is an invitation to remember the big picture, to remember your soul assignment, even in the depths of human challenge, to practice being in your power, remembering that who you are is the most powerful gift that you have to give every single moment, in every single circumstance. Who you are infuses what you do with the greatest power you have to offer. From this place on the red stone, you use your arms to support you to come to see that. You look around the landscape at the harsh desert, the cactus, the plants, the dry air. The desert holds a level of adversity in its nature. There is also these powerful qualities of silence, of access to the infinity of stars, of understanding the nature, of learning to thrive in adversity. Your feet and hands resting on the red stone, grounding yourself into this place and time, grounding yourself into belonging in your life. Every single challenge, pinpoint of opportunity on your timeline, like a strand of DNA that can be activated to support you in embodying your soul assignment. Hmm, it's not easy. Yet now you can see more clearly the adventure that each challenge along the way has been an opportunity for collecting wisdom, for returning to your soul self over and over and over again, learning to breathe, move, and speak in service to the highest good of your timeline, of your ancestors, of the future generations that will come after you, and the collective learning from the great wisdom of obstacles and challenges not only you personally have made, but the collective wisdom. It is pulsing through this red rock you are sitting upon. All the information that you could possibly need is at your fingertips, and right beneath your feet. Yet somehow, as a collective, we have gotten swept away into this fast-paced disconnection from the purity and power of the moment of connecting to the earth and to infinity through the earth and this present moment. In this time, you feel yourself shifting learning from every lesson that has ever been, not only from your own lifetime, but from all lifetimes, infinity and beyond. You are opening, receiving, awakening to a power so much greater than you, beyond logic, beyond understanding, breathing in and breathing out, coming into the power of creation in this moment to create your experience, who you are, and what is most important to you here and going forward. As you are resting on this red stone, the ties from the past are releasing. Somehow you feel less bound by the past by the emotional charges that have seemed to confine and contain you. They no longer seem that interesting. 
You are finding your way into this present moment, infused by the wisdom of the past and aligned with the power of the present and the creative future. Inhale and exhale, receiving and releasing. Red stone, infinite sun burning inside of you. Hands and feet connected to the earth. The wisdom of the ages pouring into your body through your hands and feet, through your hips and spine, infusing you with wisdom that has always been there, yet in this moment you are receiving with greater power and potency and aliveness, awakening your soul self activating your divinity, healing your humanity, knowing the struggle is part of the song and the song will carry on and on and on. You press your hands into the red stone and rise to standing, feet planted firmly on the warm red stone, arms spread wide, sun shining into you and through you, igniting the flame inside, supporting you to remember the infinity of power that you are, the creative power of being, presence, wisdom of the ages, embodied in your human form. And you feel yourself walking down the red stone, through the sand, back to the room that your body is resting in, and your spirit, soul, self, gently glides back into your physical form, clicking into place the wisdom of this journey, feeling at ease, and beginning to move your fingers and toes, breathing more deeply, opening and closing your hands, Moving your ankles, knees, elbows, wrists, neck, and fluttering open your eyes to take in the light, the colors, the texture, the features of the room that you're in. Placing your hands on your body and feeling the power of the red stone pulsing inside your veins, beating your heart infusing your every breath with wisdom, the wisdom of the earth, the wisdom of the ages, and unlocking your full potential through the adversity of all human experience. Thank you for being a part of the pleasure-led movement. I'm honored to support your embodied spiritual awakening. I want to extend a special invitation to our listeners if you're craving a deeper exploration of your desires, whether they are personal or professional, consider booking a desire session by phone with me. It's a unique, personalized opportunity to dive into your dreams and purpose to clear limiting belief codes that are blocking you on a journey like this one that is perfectly designed for you through the Akashic Records. To schedule your Desire Session, visit desiresession.com. Are you ready for a deep dive in a personalized rites of passage with me? The Embody Soul Purpose series focuses on integrating parts of you that were lost along the way in a soul retrieval process and activation of all seven main energy centers. Embrace all aspects of your past, no matter what has happened, so you can create the greatest chapter of your life, no matter what your current age. If you are interested to explore working with me in the Embodied Soul Purpose Rites of Passage series, please visit EmbodiedSoulPurpose.com. Leave a review and follow on your favorite podcast app. I believe in you and the magic power of your soul. I'm sending you so much love.